All right, we're live. Hey guys, welcome to Waste Not Wednesday, where we take junk and we turn it into home decor. Today is not really junk so much as we're just doing IOD. I actually thought we have Zeb, lots of scrap paper that's like perfect because it's I thought small. That was going to cut wood that we were going to put these on, so that was where the junk factor came in. But I, I didn't, didn't know communicate that. that adequately. Did not say that. <laughs> but we're going to be using the new IOD frames mold, and actually probably just using like leftover cardboard to decoupage and use our new Santa postcard paper to make Christmas ornaments. I'm super excited about this. I yeah, it like should be fun. It's really easy. You can use the uh, paper clay if you want from IOD, the uh, air dry clay. Yeah, there's a lot of different things that you can put in the mold. We're using resin just because it does take a little bit longer to wait for it to set up in the mold. However, once it's set up, you can paint it, wax it. You don't have to wait overnight to really get um, physical with it. <laughs> the clay, you got to be very gentle. I'm going to bring dries. this a little closer so you guys can see a the little bit. The clay better. is yeah. not like this. You need to wear gloves, a well-ventilated area. So you got to keep that in mind. So we're going to be doing um, some cameos or some, this is cameos? It's part of the frame. Yes. This is another frame. Oh, that's a frame. frame. I do have some cameos that I'm making. Maybe we'll do, we'll get out the paintbrushes and you do. You can do some little Santa scenes in here. Maybe. Okay. So what I'm going to do while you're doing that is just get all the frames prepped and ready to go. Do you, uh, so I have also, I have the pennies from heaven from DIY. That's what I was going to use. And I've got the golden ticket as well. Okay. Should you want to venture into some gold tones? Okay. So while she's grabbing paintbrush and things, I've got the amazing casting resin. You can pick it up at jamierayvintage.com along with the rest of the molds and the paper and everything we're using here, including the paints and stuff. Um, so equal parts. So this is side A and side B. I found my rubber gloves finally. Oh, where's that thing that? Oh, it's in the garage. I used it in there. Oh, can you use your muscles then? Yeah. Um, All right, so side A, side B, mix them evenly. We'll stir them here in a sec after I get this open. This is the open. Santa paper we're going to be using. So this is six ninety five for an entire sheet. Look how many ornaments you could make with it. Probably like twenty. Yeah, <laughs> it's a really inexpensive project, especially if you already have the paint. That one's on there. Good. I'm bending. <laughs> I crinkled the bottom of the jar. <laughs> hey, Claire from Wales. She normally catches the replay. Welcome, welcome. If you guys are on Facebook, can you hit that share button? Sprinkle out the love. I guess we're supposed to say sprinkle. So from now on, when I say sprinkle, that means share. Because I guess if you say you share, <laughs> the Facebook algorithm knows that I've said it. I, apparently, you're not share, supposed share, 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 to share. share. <laughs> <laughs> you're not supposed to ask. People are just supposed to do their own free will and accord. Oh. All right. Did you open that one? Well, 90% of the time when I'm watching video, I'm usually so excited about what's going on, I don't think about it. <laughs> I can't strong arm people into sharing. Um, so <laughs> we're going to be using pennies from heaven. Why is that dripping? because I'm heating it up so that I can open it. I couldn't oh. get it open. I was like twisting the, the jar. Now I have to pee. Oh, that's never worked on me. Like, I don't understand that. You've also never had five kids. Comment below if running water makes you have to pee, even if you don't think you need to. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys this up close. So look how gorgeous Pennies from Heaven is. Last year we did ornaments where we took the molds and we put them on just leftover lids from candles and did the Pennies from Heaven in white wax and they were gorgeous. In fact, those will make it up on my Christmas tree this year. Thank you, Carolyn. She says, congratulations on getting the loan approved. Woot woot. We need prayers because we're in the process of getting the closing done. And we're having a little bitty hiccup with getting the payoff for the seller. So nothing, nothing on our end that we can control. <laughs> yeah, nothing that we can't overcome. I'm actually going to help them if I can. I was talking to our realtor. I used to be, I spent 11 years in the mortgage industry. I'm real good at problem solving. She's like a... <laughs> She's like a dog with a bone. She'll get it done. Yes. They used to call me the bulldog. Anyways, so I'm going to go over there because we're friends with them now after all this and see if they need me to help them. We'll bring our computer. We'll figure out how to get it taken care of. Okay, so I've been stirring this probably about 40 seconds or so. It'll get cloudy. Then it'll get clear. It's hard to show you in this cup. But I'm using a cup with a rolled edge. If you just have something like this that doesn't have a rolled edge, it makes it really hard to pour. The rolled edge helps it not run down your cup. It just spills out. And fun by, fact. By the way, like fun fact about this pennies from heaven, it doesn't have a top coat built in, which is great. That's why it's a little bit more expensive because it's a two in one product. But this is only our second sample jar ever. And we have used this a ton. So a little bit really does go a long way. And when you're painting over the white resin, 
because white is such a great backdrop to this, you only need one coat. So I'm literally, literally. All right, really quick, I'm gonna interrupt you. Oh. Which ones do you want? Because I gotta pour this. Oh, I just really love the big one. The big one, okay. All right. I think it's gonna be the easiest to do. That's okay. why I really love it. All right, continue on. Oh, what are they saying? I don't oh, know. Oh, I'm literally using 50 cents in paint. That's all the more I needed to say. Oh, I didn't know. But that's time sensitive over there, so I get that. Yeah, it's starting to set up already. <laughs> You've got to pour the resin quickly. This you have about resin. a minute. So to what pour we it. could do, which we may not do, um, definitely not on this slide. You can use the clear resin over the top, and it almost looks like glass. So you could make this, do the um, Santa decoupage or whatever, let that dry completely, then pour clear resin just in the relief part here, and make it look like glass. How cute would that be? Maybe we will do it. I don't know. Super excited. Maybe we'll do like a full tutorial video on this. Tomorrow we have uh, the new IOD. New again. They have like, another release. Not just new product, but new style of product never like, released. Completely like, new concept. Like this is there. not in the industry anywhere. Yeah, it's we, really exciting. We've actually known about it months and months and months and months and months. Like yeah. a long time. I remember when they first started playing with it and I got a text message and they're like, look at that. I was like, oh, that's so good. So um, anyways, that's going to be released tomorrow. So we'll be live again tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. to show you that. And then we'll probably have an edited video on Friday of that. Um, because Friday morning, if we get everything we need, we're supposed to be signing for the church. So super excited about that. You think you can make that work? Yeah. She's going to pray. I'm going to have to put my CBD patches on so I can sleep. <laughs> Because there's also things that we can't tell you about that are going on behind the scenes, kind of related to the church. They're very exciting. So I have a hard time when I get sensory overload. It's part of my ADD and ADHD. I have a hard time. So I'm going to do a couple smaller ones just so we can show them what they're going to look like. Okay, that's fine. And also, we're just going to do some of these painted cameos. I'll show you in a sec. I think they're going to be awesome. I'm, I'm probably going to do a clock too. You know, winter time, father time, all that. These just make the most gorgeous ornaments. And you could take, you know, if you could do another one of these. This, let's not, um, oops, I got somewhere I didn't want it. What are, what are another one of these? These. Okay. Let's do two together. So you'll like have to put it on. Marry them together? Yeah. Okay. I can do that. Um, and then we'll paint this white, and then we could do like a little mini portrait in here. You can paint a mini portrait, can't you? Can you guys see how fast this is setting up? I don't know if you can see. I just poured this one. And the bigger your pour, the faster it'll set up, but you really only have like, mm, I don't know, 15 minutes tops. It'll be dry no matter what the humidity is. It's a chemical reaction, so it, it cures up really fast. If it's a smaller, tiny little one, like these guys over here, like these little birds, actually take longer to dry and cure up than the big ones because there's more chemical reaction in the larger pores. Chemical reaction as in not all natural, hence why Zeb's wearing gloves. He doesn't always wear gloves, but I should always wear gloves. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. I could not find my gloves the other day, and we just went for it. Well, we had like a very little time to make. Have you guys watched our jewelry making video? And we also did a video for the release um, when these all came out. They've only yeah. been out. And if you have ordered them and you've been waiting on your order from us, it should be shipping out because we got in all the rest of our product and have been shipping like crazy. I actually, we thought we had lost. 30 harvest stamps, which they're currently sold out until November. Also and part of the anxiety. Lately. Yeah. <laughs> Having a heart attack. Ivy, like we watched the footage, saw the delivery, saw who picked it up and then did a little like reconnaissance and found them. And so I actually went in, was it Monday night? Yeah. And Ivy and I busted out a bunch of orders. So if you ordered a harvest stamp from us, you either have it or it probably should be delivered in the next few days. So, <laughs> uh, so you're, you're not late. You're just right on time, Zeb, Shelley. I think you missed part of this. No, I can trim it. I'll trim yeah. it with a knife. Um, I didn't miss it. I just didn't go big with the pour. Okay. Um, are we going to do more silver with the molds? Donna wants to know. Yes, yes Donna, we will. Um, we actually might play with that tonight. I think we're going to have my sisters in town from Kansas and we're going to have Mariah over. We might make some more jewelry and have fun with that tonight and maybe even do some ornaments. I think they'd like to do some Christmas ornaments. And, you know, we got all the stuff. We got it all out. 
I'm like, why don't we have a craft night instead of just hanging out and watching me watch football? How great is my husband? Let's have a craft night. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I love little crafty type stuff. Like it's fun. It yes, doesn't it really does. matter what I'm putting together. It's just like the fine motor skills. I love it. Not everything in our life is easy, but I can tell you like crafting for a business does not suck. <laughs> it's fun. It makes all the hard parts of running a business better. So I've got to get down here. I got to go grab a knife. So I got to get a razor so you blade. You can see all the detail of this little, look, the detail in this is amazing. That's why I also love resin. I'll Zeb show these up to you close a little bit because resin, you don't lose any of the detail. Sometimes with clay, you will lose that detail, but this literally looks like a mini antique picture frame and it's flipping amazing. I'm dying. Back in the day, they would have hand carved this and it would have taken 242 hours to do. Let's see. Wonder Mom says, I got my harvest stamp. Leslie says, I want to see your sister. Well, we'll see if she wants to be on camera. Not everybody, not everybody loves the camera the way that we do. We just love it because it helps us connect to our friends. And if you're watching for the first time and you are a new friend here, please hit that subscribe button or like and follow on Facebook. That helps us out a lot. And then we can stay in touch. Also, um, Ivy, I don't know if you have it, but can you drop the phone number? You can text Caitlin. She can probably give it to you. The phone number for the text messaging. I know Caitlin sent out a text to say that we were Yeah, live. Caitlin's, she's feeling if sick If you text us with, she got a flu shot, so she's not feeling great. Um, text us with the code JRV, all one word, and then you get added to our text list. You get a discount coupon, one-time use, and we can stay in touch. Are you fixing that for me? Yeah, I'm just trimming it up where I had a little bit of an overpour. It's... Does he have husband material friends? He has friends that are single, but I'm not <laughs> I'm not quoting the last part of that. I've got one that, you know, he'd be an amazing dad and husband and he'll probably never get married. And he'll probably I would never say go mostly for religious reasons. He's kind of more like a old like school a monk. monk. <laughs> he's a monk who plays video but games. He's awesome. He's he's a great guy, but you know, I don't I don't know that that's ever happening for him. This is how great he is. When I was pregnant with Odelia, Harrington was, let's just say, he was a lot of work and fun as a toddler. And Zeb worked a lot. And I needed to go grocery shopping. And he, like, came grocery shopping with me and Harrington. So that way I could get it done. Helped me load my groceries. Took them into the house. Like, what... We were in our 20s. What single 20-year-old young man takes his best friend's wife and like helps her grocery shop? It was it was really sweet. And that's he's just the, the kind of he's guy the he kind is. of guy that you like you trust with your family if you're out of town and like there's an emergency at the house or there's a they need to go change a flat tire three hours away, whatever. Like he's he's great. My kids love him. Um, do I want to? I'm gonna to wait to mix up a little bit until this one's ready to demold. He's good because he comes from good stock. Yeah. He's got good parents. All right. I almost got it. Can you show them these up close? I just feel like they can't see the awesomeness from far away. Yep. Okay. So you can see, I just demolded that. If you work with it right away, you can wrap this around whatever you want. You can shape it. If, if I were to rubber band this to this, it would cure hard in that shape. So just keep that in mind. You only have a few minutes to work with it. It's actually warm to the touch while it still cures up, but really fun material, lots of things you can do with it. You can heat them up later and kind of get them to bend a little bit, but just know that if you do that, they do get brittle as they harden and cure. So if you heat them up and they crack a little bit or snap, it's, it's just something that can happen. Um, so just be aware of that. If you want to shape them, do it right when they're out. Or like, you can microwave them. Like you can see how, how it's, as I'm not breaking it or anything. It's super strong but real flexible and you've only got about five minutes yeah you might be able to rip it if you really tried but you got about five minutes to work with it like that night my my cardboard this is an old uh cereal box it's got a whoop to it and so what kind of cereal oh raisin bread. it was Did the raisin that up box. Today? no i just took the package out <laughs> it's in the pantry raisin bread is oh, i need favorite. to trim this one too um, i'm just over pouring just a hair on, on these. the papers you guys we carry them at jamierayvintage.com but if you have a jrv retailer by you 
chances are they have them. And if they don't, they can order them in. And these are made in the USA. So we um, don't really see any supply issues getting them here. So if you need to have like a We're pretty proud of them friends, too. Um, <laughs> Lots of so, work. Yeah, we design them ourselves. We have them printed by a small business in the USA. And so it's just a really great all the way around situation. And we've been selling a ton of our stencil brushes too. I actually just put an email in to reorder some. And we order them by the hundreds. So that's fun. So if you were just going to use this as a frame, how good does that look with the pennies from heaven copper patina on there? Right. I'm going to use that on um, Sarah bought that Jesus picture. Oh, yeah. The, um, the, the one where he's in Gethsemane. Yeah. That we just sold on the drift hall. And I'm going to paint it with pennies from heaven today. So I need to get that shipped out. Okay, let's see. Okay, so these are ready to demold. What, what, uh, what medium are you using for the mold? We're using resin. Ivy, would you mind dropping the, the individual links to the resin, the uh, so, pennies from heaven, and the golden ticket? I'm about to use a golden So you ticket. could also use paper clay, but if you have an aspect. Little brush. Oh, the little brushes. Um, I'll just hand them all to you. If you have like uh, like what we're doing where it might get dropped, it's going to be hanging on a Christmas tree. Kids oh, might be touching this it. This is old. Is that going to work? No, it just needs to be shook. Oh. Um, yeah, we've been using the I pennies from heaven since I don't it came to shake out. it. Uh, this is going to be a lot more durable. The paper clay does dry hard and nice and tough, but we, I mean, I could throw this across the room, go grab it, no big deal. The golden ticket also has a top coat built into it. So it's good to go. These don't, if it's like going over something and not solid painted underneath or like solid white, you do need to put some sort of paint out of it because they're kind of translucent. You could also paint these white and then just hit them with golden rule. That would be fun. Okay, so I'm gonna mix up more. We're gonna do this oh, big one brush. here. But yeah, very versatile, easy to use. I can't say enough good things about it. I it. use it for repairing furniture, like legs and table legs and things. Like if there's a big chunk missing, I'll mold that and then we'll pour that. We'll screw it on there. It hardens up, paint it. You never knew it was plastic on the corner of the leg. <laughs> so I think the Cameo, I might put it, this little one, I might put it on something bigger. Okay. So I might not finish this one. I'm going to do one more pour, then I'm going to go find you some cardboard. Okay. We have done many Christmas ornaments out of cardboard, haven't well, we? Well, and you can see just here on video, proofs in the pudding, how fast this sets up. Like, you could do a ton of these in an hour. And one of these kits will probably do about... I don't know. You probably get about 12 or 15 of these really big ones and you could probably get 50 or so of the little ones. Yeah. And you're gonna have ornaments you're not gonna get anywhere else. I love like artisan style, especially Christmas because Christmas just feels special to me. We love hand making Christmas stuff. Um, I don't, I'm not a Pinterest mom guys. I'm not. So I don't hand make all my holiday stuff, but for Christmas I will go the extra mile and we were watching on Discovery Plus for the love of kitchens. And I'm kind of There's excited a lot of awesome kitchens in there. Now about the church, just because I love like I wish that this house that we bought would be, have had more of the older space, right? Like mm -hmm. we we bought what we could get, but we're about to embark on five thousand square feet of antique building, and I'm so excited. <laughs> Because there's just nothing like the imperfections. One of the things I love about For the Love of Kitchens is the flooring. Yes. Like sometimes I'm a little self-conscious. I love our flooring. <laughs> I love our flooring in the addition because it's imperfect. We bought seconds on purpose. But in America, it's just when people get new flooring, they put in like new laminate and it looks perfect. And or it's just, carpet or carpet. The but carpet over the wood floor in is Europe, nine they times have these out of old 10. Castles, and if you watch for the love of kitchens, they don't rip out the flooring. They have these old irregular floors that are just gorgeous and delicious. And so I really loved watching that. So repurpose my way has a good question. Do okay. you treat the mold with anything before you pour the resin in? There is mold release agent that you can get. I don't like to use it because these silicone molds from IOD, they stand up to the, like, I don't know, probably 
I, I would conservatively say you could do about 500 to 1,000 pours before you're ever going to notice any sort of wear, and I don't think it's going to damage the mold. We haven't been able to damage them. and if we I have haven't heard them. We've cooked them in the oven. I've poured silver solder in these that's like liquefied at 320 degrees. And nothing's hurting these things so but you far. You can use a mold release. It's probably best. The practice. mold release, I the reason I don't use it is because sometimes it like makes little bubbles and pockets in the mold. I don't like that, so I don't use anything. These molds are inexpensive enough that like if I use it to the point of it's wearing out, I'm gonna get a new one because you're gonna you're gonna have made like 500 to a thousand pieces of something. I would say that's a easy guesstimate on how much you can use them before they're going to have issues they make mold out of dirt in for the love of kitchens. it's clay it's clay it's so amazing i, I almost talked too long and didn't artisans. pour this out enough all right i'll get back to questions is this something a beginner that's never done this can do absolutely yep. it's not hard the resin has the ratios right on the box all the information's there um, and if you can just, if you're good at getting equal parts and really following, this is one of those things you have to follow directions. They're simple, but you got to follow them. It's, it's not hard. It's really not. We almost lost that one. That one's going to cure I mean, worst case, it doesn't set up all the way and then you got to do another one. So there's a little bit of practice. All right. So, involved, so I'll show you how hard this is. I got a new cup. You don't want to, this resin here is going to set up at a different rate than the new stuff I mixed up and it'll make it not mix properly. So this one. The resin's dried up and hard like those. Uh, now I'm gonna. Ooh, I almost poured All it right, right can in. Can you make me another one of these? Yeah, I meant to, and then I got. These would be so distracted. pretty on the tree. Okay, so equal parts, side A, side B. And in case you're wondering, my tree goes up the end of October. So I know it's people time. like to celebrate one holiday at a time, but when you're a blogger influencer, you have to help people figure out. Well, what we got to show do. you what you need yeah, before you, you so you have time to like order it in or come shop at the store or whatever it is. I move stuff. my fall just into the other room, and then I just start Christmas in my main living area. And I tear down my Christmas the day after Christmas, so it has plenty of time up, but it's not up forever. Some people leave their Christmas up until like middle of January, end of January. So just in the reverse. Just in the reverse, but I already, we got a king of Christmas tree this year. They sent it to us um, for okay. being an influencer, and I'm super excited to show the new one. We, I didn't want a white flocked tree because we have so much white going on, so I'm excited for the new tree. We'll probably put the old tree in the shop. Okay. Oh, does this fit inside of here? Oops, I just got that on the... I'm going to do the clock. I've got enough left over. Oh, there's a little bit of chunk Oh, in it's there. just a little bit too... The little one would fit in there. Look how cute that would be to layer them. Oh, you could probably stretch it out. There we go. Look at that. That's good. I think I want to do one like this, Seb, and then do a uh, cardboard behind it, and then just paint the cardboard, and then pour resin like right in here. All right. So if you can, if you can mix equal parts and pour with a red solo cup, you can do this craft. Ivy says she's excited uh, to put up the tree. And Chelsea says, I'm quarantined with the Rona and I feel fine. So I'm putting trees up and decorating. You well, we're glad that. you're doing good. And I'm glad you're doing good. Um, is there a specific brand of resin? So we use. This the, is my favorite. It's yeah. really easy. It's the cheapest I've found. And I get really good, consistent results with it. And it, they say the manufacturer says to use it within the first year. If you open it, use it in about six months because it does. I don't. I don't want to say go bad, but it won't it, combine good yeah, after about issues. a year. So if you get it, use it. Yeah, you can pick that up at jamierayvintage.com. We carry it in the shop. Um, so yeah, and we have free shipping on all of our DIY type products except for DIY paint. Okay. Well, I'm waiting for these to cure, and Jamie's painting. She's doing gold and and. Uh, Copper? Copper patinas here. I'm going to go get some cardboard okay. that I can use for the backs of these. I'm going to steal this I one. I love reusing cardboard because it's great to recycle stuff, but to repurpose it is even better. How's the mic today, by the way? I'm wearing it on the outside Nobody's, of my shirt. Your Adam's apple. Is it's not it scratching it. Scratching it. All right, I'll be right back. Donna says, I totally can't do an equal pour. <laughs> I can if I focus, not on camera. Um, and if you can't, it's totally fine. You can use paper clay, let it dry overnight, and everything that we're doing, like we did ornaments last year with paper clay, and we just glued them onto the tops of lids, like I said, and then we painted the lids with the copper. 
They turned out gorgeous. We used white wax to kind of oxidize them. And you would have never guessed they were just like jar lids. So you can use clay too. Mike is great today. Um, Tasha says, I'm originally from Maryland. So leaving the outdoor Christmas lights on decor is beautiful reflecting on the snow. Um, how tall is my tray? Um, Yumiko, I, so my tree, I think is like seven and a half feet. I love large trees. Don't get me wrong. I think they're gorgeous. Um, but just my personal preference is I like trees that are a little bit smaller and understated that don't overwhelm a room. So while we do have really tall ceilings in here, the volume of the tree would be a lot. And so I keep my trees at between seven and a half to eight feet in proportion to like the fireplace because it'll probably go I know you're fairly familiar with my living room. I can have some show you if you guys want to see, but where the French clock is, is where the tree's going to go. So I'll probably get rid of my side table next to my oversized chair, just move the chair over and the tree will just fit right there. So you can see it through the front windows. And so it's right next to the fireplace. But if I were to do like an eight foot tree or a bigger tree, it'd just be too much. So I love slim kind of just simple trees. This one is a noble fir. So it's got more space in between all of the um, branches. So I'm not quite sure I'm gonna decorate it yet, but we're getting there. Neighbors walked by, I had to wave at them. <laughs> all right, um, I just need to do- So this, this is just kind of thin, almost like the uh, the cereal box. It's just like a Swiffer Wetjex box that I found in the garage. Are we gonna back this? So should I paint this one copper or should I do gold? And then we've got two more, so I can do uh... one gold one. Yeah, you do what you want. Okay, I'll do whatever. I mean, I don't want to say sky's the limit, but we can we can make you several more. What you're telling me is you will keep pouring. Yeah. All right. And I mean, if we're gonna do this with my sister and yeah, Mariah I tonight, keep, I don't need to make. I made jewelry the other day, and actually, we probably will wind up selling the pieces that we made on that video. We can use it towards money at the church. <laughs> um, so we'll get those listed hopefully before Saturday. Yeah, we're doing so. We got the financing to purchase the church, but all of the renovations are out of pocket. Well, we also had 10% 10, <laughs> 10 down. On, yeah, we got to put. Oh, do you guys, you guys, I don't know why, but commercial loans are so blasted expensive. You pay the SBA, you pay the lender, you pay the broker. A uh, commercial appraisal is $4,000. And maybe I just sound like naive to the business world, but I'm just like, holy moly. Well, that appraisal was, it was very in depth, and they did the environment. It like, was way more extensive. Oh, than we had we to pay needed. for the environmental study. Yeah, <laughs> it was way more extensive than we needed because we're not renting it out, so the value to us is not in the rent. But I guess that's important for the lender to know that there's yeah good market value. Should we ever need to? We've got three units. Should we ever need to? The cottage, and then the main portion is actually two separate units like has two separate living units, but we're taking out one and turning it into a chapel anyway. So they're turning it into a store where the chapel is. Yeah, we're not turning it into a chapel. We go to church <laughs> with people that went to church before that closed down as a church in the 50s. So it would be fun to have them walk through and let us know what it looked like when they were there, what they used it for. We need to go to the historical society and get pictures. Because obviously you can't bring it back 100%, but we're going to try. We're going we're gonna to do takes, our best. It takes a lot of money to bring it back 100%. So maybe over time it'll get there. All right. This one's kind of bowed. I'm going to go get some hot glue so that I can hot glue these on once okay. you've decoupaged them. Because sometimes with the decoupage, when you get it wet, it wants to curl a little bit. So I think with the hot glue, we'll, we'll be able to fix that. We'll get that tuned up. All right. We got our Swiffer cardboard. We're ready. We're ready to decoupage. I'm going to get the heat gun. Oh, Yumiko has a two foot tall tree topper. That's next level. <laughs> I love it. I can appreciate it. Also, I like have decorating ADD. And so people probably, maybe people think my house is cluttered, but I actually don't like over decorate a lot. It takes me forever to make decisions. They don't actually have even that many things up on the wall. Most things are just leaning up against the wall here. If I commit and put holes in the wall, it means I really like it. It's going to live there for 500 years. So you need to heat gun some of those? Um, so you can you can warm up this resin. Um, just know that it's going to make it harden even more. It's not going to melt it <laughs> unless you get it like super duper duper hot. Well, the resin you can just um, microwave it if you want to make it pliable. 
I may have to do two coats on this golden ticket. It's pretty old and it's separated a little. I don't know what the jazz is on it. I actually just think the copper is thicker in general. Like whatever they put in the copper to make it copper, it's just a thicker material. I think I've made enough of these. I'm going to show you guys this one. The second coat is. Is this one pretty much dry? Can I handle it? The one in the middle, the cameo, the big one? This one? Yeah, I'm going to show them up close. Uh, no. It's I not mean, dry. You can. can I? Oh, you're just going to show it to them? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to white wax it. So it looks like you got a little bit of gold on here, too. Well, you know. We all know I'm a paint flinger. So the resin picks up the details super, super good. Do we have any more questions? I don't know. Sorry, I've not been. She's been super involved with the painting. This today. is really fun for me. It's calming. Uh, I think the camos would be pretty on a feather tree. Oh, yeah. Yep. So pretty. Um, <laughs> Leslie says, I have to buy everything new. I didn't plan on decorating anymore, but with grandsons, for sure. And you can, the nice thing about that, Leslie, is you can buy a tree that fits your cute little townhouse perfectly. And the first year, you don't have to go crazy. You can just slowly add things that really just fit in your space. That's been the fun thing about this place is we lived in another house so long. A lot of the stuff needed to be replaced. It was just fun to slowly buy stuff to fit. And we've never in our entire married life been able to really afford new furniture. And honestly, most of it's still used. But to be able to like <laughs> my living room set here is like a dream set. Even by I get it wholesale because it's something that we carry. But even that, I was like, oh, that's a lot of money. But it's been fun to decorate. Do you want me to heat gun some of these? Yeah, we can do that. I think I've got them painted. So this, you, everybody's been asking us about our drop cloth napkins on our our uh, holiday entertaining video that we did a week or so ago. They're not napkins. This is one of the drop cloth napkins. It's just a drop cloth rag that you can get. Like they're like shop towels that we get from Harbor Freight and we're using one now. I'm gonna change the angle of that because it's kind of like I'm giving the camera a Okay, there you go. I stole your seat. Actually, you know what? While I was gonna show them what I can I don't know if they can hear you. Oh. Here we go. So this clock we picked up at Round Top will probably just move to the opposite side of the window or it'll go on the opposite side of the fireplace and we'll just scoot the couch over a little bit. And my Christmas tree is actually just gonna go right here. You can see that this chair is a little bit close, but if I move that tree or that tree, if I move this chair all the way to the edge of the rug that's right here, I can fit a decent sized tree right there. And I just think it'll be so pretty next to our fireplace. So now you know where it is. While he's doing that, I'll show you guys our Halloween decorations. I can't really take you all Some the way Some of them there. have fallen down. What? Can you guys see the spiders? <laughs> we have um, our candles and you might be able to see a little bit of the bats. Maybe later I'll have Deb show you uh, what we've done on this wall here. The kids have had so much fun with that. All right, I'm bringing you back over to Zeb. I'll try to put in stories, more pictures of the Halloween decorations. I think I have some crows being delivered today. And then I promise I'm done with Halloween. <laughs> Once I get started, I can't stop. I've never decorated for Halloween before. All right, you want your spot back? I think these are dry enough. We can start doing decoupage. Yeah. I'm going to start with this big one here. Okay, so I've got a little bit of a mess with the resin over here. I'm going to try to just push that up out of the way a little bit. Oh, the picture got fuzzy? Um, that, that happened when uh, I had to go refocus it. Oh, okay, sorry. It should, it be, like, it should be fixed now. The spiders are great. Oh, geez, those spiders makes me crawl. So these spiders They're good. Um, are from just on Amazon is where I got them. And there was like five of them for like 20 bucks. So I realize they're not for everybody, but... 
against the White House. They're super cute. <laughs> they're almost like Australian spiders. <laughs> they're big. <laughs> spiders are big in Australia. All right, so I need to come back with, uh, were we, what were we gonna do on this? Were we gonna decoupage the Santa paper inside of here or were, do you want me to paint that white? So, so I was gonna, in it. yeah, I was, I'm not gonna do a painting. I was just gonna pick one of the Santas that kind of fit in there good and okay. cut it to fit that. All right, this is ready for that then if you wanna do yeah. it. That doesn't need cardboard. Um, the gold actually needs uh, dark put into it because I, I don't like, I like white wax on copper and on gold, I like dark and decrepit. So I'm gonna go grab the dark and decrepit and I'll antique these. All right, so this is liquid patina. Just the crystal clear chandelier, because these are all patinas. So not to get them confused, this will dry clear. Today we're using every single patina we carry. Crystal clear, gold, copper, and the dark and decrepit is a patina. All right, which one do we want on here? I think this guy here will fit. Yep, that's going to be just about perfect. Don't let these dry on your brushes, because they have top coat built in them her to get off oh ivy thrifted spider from the ti nice whenever you can find thrifted decor it's always the best love skinny pencil trees so we have got ours from king of christmas for the last few years but honestly back in the day when like money was tight i love a good like Walmart special, like a 50 or $60 tree. Um, especially the pencil ones are pretty thin. They look gorgeous in like an antique crock. So if you go back, gosh, a few years ago, we probably have a Christmas video with a tree and a crock because I had Zeb cut down the base. I don't think we did. Did we do one last year? Um, yeah, we did a live. we actually decorated here because we did Christmas here with the kids. Um, but anyways, if you put, I actually spent more money on the crock than the tree, but <laughs> if you put the right decorations on it, you can make any tree gorgeous. And that is wise words from my aunt Willie. She used to tell me, she's like, you don't need a million dollars, honey. You just got to get creative. And if it doesn't look good, you just shove more stuff on it. And she would take her tree and just put tons of ornaments on there. And she would tie cinnamon sticks and put baby's breath and whatever she had you know, a cut up quilt and she'd stretch it out on a, like an embroidery hoop and she'd just go for it. And her trees were always gorgeous. She's like, you don't have to spend a million dollars on it. So did you order? it kind of depends. If you want to spend a little bit more, I recommend King of Christmas. If you don't, do not be uh, afraid of just grabbing an a inexpensive Black Friday Christmas tree. Those can look gorgeous. Can you just paint the back of that for me? Mm -hmm. Or wait, what if we did? So what if this side was like the cameo and this side was a Santa? Okay, then just then just put the patina on. But I was gonna do another resin. <laughs> no, <laughs> that got shot down. <laughs> I was gonna put another piece of resin on here with a string. Oh, okay. But I've I got. Want, but I don't want hemp. Did I not I, make another one of those? Huh? You don't want to do so. We have hemp string. She wants to do pretty ribbon. Or I could do. We could do some like the like... chain from the like a necklace necklace. That we used for the oh yeah I, we, I could look at that i don't know about that it's over there in i'm the still baggie. undecided about that but i want to do another one on the back um and then we could do ribbon or we could do fabric all right so there's one santa fit on there perfectly i need you again man <laughs> where's that jar opener i gotta go hunt that down i used also, it in the Christmas garage tree is good renee says i have a charlie brown tree i love that Okay, dark and decrepit. Here you go. You've got all the patinas open now. There are all the colors. Okay, so this just goes because this already has a finish on it. So which one? You can just there? take this and paint right over the top of. If it if it was just painted, I would probably seal it first. But because it has a finish, I can just paint this right over top of the gold. This dark and decrepit. This is going to age it, give it a really antique metal look. The nice thing is these are all natural, guys. So you're not going to like smoke yourself out using them and then i'm just going to rub back and it's just going to stay down in the details i'm going to hand glue this in a second but how cool is that i need to cut it i trimmed it too big we're not going to get the merry christmas in there because it's too wide but we're going to get santa can you show them is that close enough can you show them the all right careful because i just decrepited that one okay. show them the difference i think that's important to see 
AB keeps asking how many frames do you think you can make? I think we answered that, but maybe um, she wasn't on yeah, here. Yeah, she might not have been on. 15 of these, 12 to 15? Yeah, 12 to 15 is conservative. And then like 50 of the little tiny ones? If you're being really careful with your pours and you're not mixing up too much, like, so when I pour a big pour, when I do this, I always try to have another mold ready. So if I do have extra, I can just drop it in something like these small little cameos. I want to add molds to a clear glass face. Should I use resin or air dried clay? Um, either would be fine. It's more important what kind of glue you use. Make sure the glue works well with glass and then whatever you're putting on it. Because the clay, once it dries hard, it doesn't. Oh, it, got the oh. I know, Zeb's excited about the cloth. You probably wish you could put a mechanism and actually make it work. Maybe. <laughs> um, but yeah, if either one is fine, whatever you're comfortable with, just make sure your glue works on both surfaces, whatever you're gluing on it and what you're gluing it on too. Can you hit me some more? Oh yeah. What? You, you missed the side with gold? the gold. Yeah. Well, I already washed it off. I'll oh, just decrepit it. Wash is easy. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I used clay on a pewter vase that we bought and it was fine. It held up great. We repainted. Once you paint it, it doesn't really matter. Just depends if you want the look of clay where it cracks or if you want something a little more solid. The resin, think of resin like a, a hard plastic. What it dries to. All right. I'm ready for that one in a minute. Or whichever one you, you have. I just feel like resin works well on live videos because it's it dries fast. fast. Okay, that was good. We can show you how to do the mold and and actually the like wipe it without worrying about losing the image. All right. And I think with clay, sometimes you're like, you put it on there like, oh no, I overdid it or I messed it up. But once you paint it and wax it, it looks great. I may have, she might not have been super dry. On the so we could paint this cardboard because your, your paper is thin enough. It's 18 pound paper. So it's almost like a napkin. It's like tissue paper. Um, so if you paint whatever color you paint on the backside might come through. That's why this Santa is it got a little bit darker because there's brown, basically brown cardboard back behind it. So if you wanted a bright finish on there, paint it white. White underneath. White does best on that. Okay. I just need to focus on what I'm doing. What glue for resin on glass? E6000? E6000. Or all day long. Use, uh, Gorilla Glue construction adhesive. Not the regular gorilla glue. The E6000, I think, is still your winner, though. Yeah. It works for, like, jewelry. It's So the nice thing about the E6000 is it, is it sticks really, really well, but it doesn't, like, dry hard. It's more almost like a silicone consistency. And so if it drops or whatever, you, you know, you're banging it, it doesn't tend to, like, knock off or, or crack or break. It's tough stuff. There you, there you have it. I would see, I would also, you guys, probably like in January when we release the next, like we always do a January release for decoupage and stencils, watch for some decoupage paper formatted to fit these frames. So if you buy the frame mold now, we're going to have crafts now, but we're also going to have crafts for in the spring coming up. So you can see I cut my cardboard a little big. Oh, I might scooch this guy over because I can get a Merry Christmas on that right there on that one. So I got to trim the back a little bit. If you get too much dark and decrepit and it's not shiny enough after you wipe it back, you can always dry brush gold back on there once the decrepit dries. I find myself layering going back and forth. Too much gold, too much decrepit. <laughs> the struggle is real. All right, and this one is tiny, tiny. I made a couple. We'll show you these frames after I've done it. Oh, Zeb, but you're not gluing them on yet, right? Because I still got to white wax those. Yeah, no, I haven't glued Actually, anything Actually, those on. you can do, and then I can come back with a stencil brush and white wax them because it's smaller. I'm thinking this guy here in the middle is going to be just about perfect. So there's a couple little ones in here in the middle, and I left them small because I wanted you to be able to use them almost like a tag for like a, a present or something. And you could do that with quite a few of these, but these ones are tiny. We had fun. I, let's just say I purchased a lot of vintage Santa commercial rights. <laughs> so it's like, what are you doing? I'm like, don't worry about it. I got an idea. And then Zeb's, I get ideas and then Zeb figures out how to make them work. Cause I'm not very good at the Photoshop. 
a certain thing. Although there are some papers that I designed on Photoshop myself. This one came together pretty good. It was, all right, so these are the little ones that you could use for tags and things and see how big that is compared to my hand. Um, so there's four of them. I just think they'd be fun. Just You could even just glue them on. They're not that big. You probably should wait till your patina is a little bit more dry to do the dark and decrepit. So instead of wiping it, I'm really just like blotting it so I don't pull back the gold underneath. And it gives it a little bit more of an antique. This just gave me a fun look. idea for next year. I won't say it yet because it's still a year out. But Next year? Oh, for another paper next year? Yeah. Got it. Okay, if you're going to white wax this one, now's your time, but don't get it no, on the center. you can do it now. I'll just come back with a little teeny tiny okay. uh, stencil brush, and I can white wax and be pretty precise. Plus, if I get wax on the patina, it wipes off. I'm just, I'm just trimming this to fit right here in this. This is uh, out of the frames, the vintage frames. Is that what it's called? That I'm mold? just using cheap brushes, but if you're going to be doing like real artwork and stuff, just we do frames. carry the turquoise iris. If you guys follow Dion, we carry her artist brushes. I actually think we need to order some new ones. I think she she made the announcement that she's got paint coming out, DIY paint. I don't know how specific she went in the announcement, so I'll keep. I mean, we know. I'll, but... I'll keep it to myself. I know all the specifics, <laughs> but I'm not sure what's been said, so I'll keep my mouth shut. I haven't watched her lives because we've been so busy with the church. I should probably just text her and be like, hey, what can I talk about? Don't want to get in trouble. Whoops. You know what? I was at the grocery store yesterday, and I had the new IOD that's being released tomorrow, and I was just sitting on my front seat of my car. And I flipped it the other way and put cardboard over it because I was like, shoot, what if somebody walks by and sees the new IMD? I get in trouble. Don't get in trouble. Oh, this looks like you didn't dry this one down in the details. Because I have gold mixing with my, it's okay. It's going to give me a nice effect. Oh, there's... This one's a little trickier because it's domed. I was go. I was trying to go dry, but I had to get it really wet. <laughs> How cool is that, though? It is so cool. We're gonna show you real quick. I I'll show like you up close in just a second here. Someday we'll have like a fancy camera where we can be live and have like two angles and a camera. What it room. all it takes is a camera guy. Yes. Or girl, however you prefer. <laughs> all right. These the gold though with the look at that. I have to show them that. That is amazing. You know, these would be so cute, you guys, to if you wanted to send pictures to your grandparents or whatever and make magnets for their fridge, how cute would it be to make magnets with these with your kid's picture in them? Yeah, those they make that sticky magnet tape. I know. I think we need to do that. Especially since a lot of grandparents... I can't see are comments. Are they spaces. even liking these? Um, <laughs> yeah, they can see that. Sorry. Did you guys like the Santa? Let's see. So I think I'm going to make this one like a, so this oh, is it's acrylic paint that Dion is doing with Josie. Okay. Well, there you go. Shows how much I know. Um, let's see. I'd love to see a junker tree with old chairs, dressers, frames, all on it miniature. That would be so fun. I actually have some miniature chairs somewhere. All right, don't cringe. This is my baggie of jewelry making stuff. This is when a man creates jewelry. What does that look like? <laughs> I, I should have like nice drawers or something or or uh, organizers, but I don't. They, they went in the Ziploc right, I'm going to do a gold one since I haven't done a gold one in this. I think I'm going to do gold and copper on the tree this year. So I've got, I do, every do you year. want to white wax that before? Yeah. No, I can white wax that. Oh, after. you're going to do it after with a little brush? Okay, those are almost dry. We're about to frame them up so you guys will get to see what these look like. I just want to see what this looks like with a little bit of a chain and a jump ring. I actually do mix. Someone told on me my that I wasn't, I wasn't doing my jump rings that right. Santa is, I kind of, I hope the little that tiny Santa. It's amazing. We need to make a bunch of these tonight. I know. All right, I'll be right back again. Gotta go grab some needle nose. If you guys are a JRB retailer and an IOD retailer. 
you should probably stock up on this mold and that paper because yeah. Oh no, drill triggers dentist trauma. That stinks. I have a bomb dentist. They do good things with laughing gas. They also have a laser. You don't have to do a drill and everything. As a kid though, I got all my dentistry done in Mexico. But my dentist was cool. But now they like give them laughing gas before they give them their, their shots. Jack loves the dentist. Jack's actually not the best brusher. So he's had to have a lot of dental work done. So we've been really trying to help him out. Like, Jack, you're not going to have any teeth left. So he's been a lot better. I think there's like some little pliers that they make that you can just like crimp these open. But I just stretch mine. <laughs> what? So if you do jewelry a lot, don't look. Look away. Yes, they do. You'll wear out the jump rings like that. What are you doing with the jump rings? Oh, that way we can put like satin ribbon or whatever in there. Well, I'm just going to try it with this on here because oh, okay. I wanted to see what it looked like. Oh, I have these pearls too. That could be cool on the tree. What do you think? What? Oh yeah, that would be, I mean, I wouldn't hate it. Okay, that one's good. What color do you want me to do your clock? Gold or copper? Um, I like the copper a lot. Okay. All right, sorry guys, I'll get back to comments in a minute. Zeb's mic. Oh, I'm over here. <laughs> oh, thank you. Get to doing a bunch of stuff. It's easy to forget what you had going on. Yeah, it's hard. It's much easier to twist the jump rings. We're still learning with jump rings and jewelry. It's oh, like new. sideways? Yeah. Probably doesn't make them all misshapen and ovally too, I'd imagine. It's a good call. I might have to take my gloves off. That's too, uh, too I'm done pouring anyway. Oh, that one broke. We'll have to uh, sense a, a mini tree. I'll get with Jean. Uh, Tanea, Jean's daughter, if you guys remember Jean, she worked with us for a long time. She's going on a mission in Vegas for our church. And her last not the day, church we're buying. Everybody's been buying, getting like, that confused. Sorry, for our religion. We're not starting a church. It's an old church that's for, no well, longer a church. For Jesus, she's going on a mission. There, there you go. go. And she's going to Vegas. So her last day is Friday, and then I think she leaves the following week. We're super excited for that. Okay, so did I don't know if you guys saw the cardboard because we got it wet was starting to bow. I just kind of broke the cardboard a little bit so that it didn't have as much uh, rigidity. And now these are really nice and flat. Can I do a gold frame like this? I and it makes them look a little antique too. A little imperfect. Well, that's the other thing when we were watching the show on Discovery for the love of kitchens. I was like, you know what? Or on Magnolia. I was like, you know what? It's okay if things aren't perfect. I feel like sometimes we feel like we got to fix everything and make it look perfect, but they just come up with ideas to work with existing stuff. Like they had this pipe that they didn't want to move because they were just going to have to rip up too much stuff. So they put this footrest bar, the bottom of their kitchen island, so they could run the pipe through it. And I'm like, that is genius. Genius, I tell you. Now the question is, can I thread this in there? This is I don't, props to the jewelry makers out there. It's such tiny little detail work. I have arthritis, so Jamie ain't doing that. <laughs> my my hands aren't hurting. I just don't have a lot of dexterity in them. Detail work is not easy for me. I got all this resin in front of me. You guys can't even see what I'm doing over here. I like to keep my hands. There's not much to see because it keeps keeps things moving. But towards like towards the end of a live video, like something like this where I'm doing a lot of detail work, my hands will go numb. But I think sometimes people think that they can't do anything if they have that type of an issue. And I think it's really just about knowing what you can do and working within that. So if you have an issue with it, then you do something small, you go away, you come back. Like there's this is such a small little craft. You could set it up on a big piece of cardboard and work on it over a few different dates. You don't have to do it all at once. Sorry, I'm so super focused on trying to. It's like, it's like I'm I'm having to tap into my uh, my fishing lure days. <laughs> I haven't gone fishing in a long time. No, you need to do that next year with the boys. They got rods from. Harrington. I don't know that. So I I tried with Harrington when he was a little guy, 
and his focus was not such that he could handle fishing really. So we got away from it <laughs> and he, he fishes now on his own. He loves it, but it just, when he was, when he was younger, he, was my he had a hard time with the focus. He is totally my child. And, and just sitting there being quiet, there was no way. <laughs> also my child. Although I can be quiet. I used to talk nonstop all the time, but I think because we do so much on camera, sometimes you get like your social battery, even if you're on camera, you just are like, okay, I'm done. I don't want to talk anymore. And that happens to me more than it used to. I never quite understood that before, but sometimes I'm like, yep, I don't want to hear the radio. I just want it to be quiet. Seb hates it when we're on road trips and he's driving and bored and I stop talking to him. I'm like, hey, I'm falling asleep over <laughs> here. Like, I married you because you were talking to him. What's going on? <laughs> Actually, I don't know that I factored that reason in. Oh, it was just because that's cute. Right? Yeah. Well, right. there were lots of other There's reasons. lots of other factors. All right, I'm going to do one more gold, and then I'll do one more copper, because then we'll have two copper, two gold. Okay. Can you place a hanger or some sort in the on the back after the pour would it stay put yeah so if you put this before it like dried you can mush them together and they Oops. could right like i think i did that when i went to an id iod class we put them together when they weren't quite set up mm -hmm. you could do that or put it like could you put the hemp down into it like as it's setting up yeah you so could you could there. definitely it's tricky you have to have it stationary because if it moves around, it's going to lose connection. There you go. There's the end. Rusty wire would be cute for the hangers. Yes. Also, make sure you have your tetanus shot. <laughs> we keep tetanus updated. Nobody wants lockjaw. I just had to go get mine re-updated. That is a not a fun shot to get. It's, it's like, not, it's not it's really like peanut butter that. in your arm. Like Zeb refused to swim in the pool before it was like more finished and the rest of us couldn't wait. And there was, I mean, there was a, some danger involved because there was like wire, rusty wire all the way around for the remesh for the cement that was going around. And we went in and out, all the kids went in and out. Nobody hurt themselves. I don't remember what Zeb was doing. I was walking beside the pool. With flip flops on. I got my toe. And a fish hooked its foot. And I was like, it's ironic that the person who wouldn't swim in the pool has been injured by what he was worried about injuring the rest of us. And subsequently, he did not go near the pool again until the cement was done, which I would not either. My tetanus is up to date because you go in every time you have a kid. And Jack is seven. You have to do it every 10 years. So I'll just remember when Jack is 10. So it's every seven to 10 years, but if you have an injury, you need to oh, go get it Oh, I should probably done. get it before we get started on the church then. Just got to get mentally prepared for the arm situation. All right, I twisted it sideways. Hopefully the banter has been good over there. Sorry. On the comments, because we've been chatting away. <laughs> any any questions that we need to address? Well, we could just do like three or four. And so we're like, let's do five. Oh, it's 11. Do you know yeah. that? Nope. <laughs> we've been on an hour. We need to show them some stuff finished. All right, we'll have to show them some finished situations. That's all right. We were five minutes late. My nose is really itchy this morning and i don't know why all right so that's pretty cool oh that's super cute i took a long time with the jump ring but i, I got it I figured out now back. let me do white wax on that one I'm gonna... this one if you heat gun it you can put a santa in this gold frame there we go also which super fun loving that what would be cute too is if you didn't want to put a Santa, you could. Do you know what you could also do is you could use shipwrecked things. wax and make this look like it was kind of getting patina on it. Uh huh. Is that right? Oh, did you need me to pour another one of these? Um, not right now. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna get these framed. There's like two flies having a love affair over here. I keep thinking they'll go away because it's getting cold. That's what happens when you have livestock. Sheep are cute, but 
and chickens, but then they come with their friends, the flies. All right, so I'm just gonna come in with white wax over the top of this patina. Again, it already has a finish built in and you could go over the Santa too if you wanted to make it look kind of oxidized. That wouldn't, that wouldn't look horrible, it'd look good. I'm gonna come in and put this white wax on here and we'll wipe it back. This will take away some of the sheen of the copper so you can dry brush copper over the top of it once the wax dries a little bit. I mean, I wouldn't suggest doing that probably on like a giant piece of furniture, but on decor, if you want to dry brush copper patina over wax, you can. It's just not recommended because it could resist the wax. All right, this one was in the copper one, right? What? Do we want to do one in the copper and do it one? Do the gold because the gold's finished. I want to show them what it looked like. Okay. Or whatever you want. Well, you can white wax the gold. I can white wax. I mean, you, I can white wax the copper, you mean? Oh, yeah. That's what I meant. I got you. I'm just translating for all the people that don't speak Zib. Usually it's me saying the wrong thing. We're so excited about the church. You guys are probably going to have to deal with us being kind of. We're kind of flaky right flaky. now. We're having trouble focusing. It's like 10 Christmases all bundled into. Yeah. I don't need fuzzy socks for Christmas. Just give me an old church with lots of work. Great exercise plan. Where's the paper towels? Oh, shoot. Got a big old dab of glue. Saved it. So I'm just going to wipe back the white wax so that way the gold sticks out. This is just a lint free, like microfiber type rag. All right, don't do what I did and get too much glue and have it pooch out underneath. Oh, no. Go easy on the glue, it doesn't take much. If you really get the white wax off of there, you can bring back the shine of the copper. If this was clay, I could not be this difficult with it, with this hard on it. And I will paint the back of that. So can you show them close up the difference between this copper and that copper? Yep. So one is white waxed, one is not. And then do you want to do this gold frame? And then we'll call it good. Yep. This is on the pearls. So no wax, wax. How do I get resin out of a mold when it didn't set up equal parts? Ask Ooh, me how I know. That's, that's tough. It, it will come out. You got to, I just wipe it out. Um, I would recommend like uh, canola oil to try to wipe that out or some sort of, you know, you could try Pam or something like that. You don't want to use water. That just makes it even goopier and gross. So I think we will decoupage. It should come off the silicone, but you're going to use, ruin whatever you're wiping so it out with. My plan for this, where we just use the cardboard in it, we will decoupage the other side and then just do a two-sided ornament. Because, I, I mean, there's really no way to make that look good. And I'll, I'll white wax that real uh, You could just paint it white. But it's still going to be like... Clunky, but look how much. But on the back of the tree, yeah, that does look good. That's what we're gonna do. We'll just make it double sided. We'll, we have to. We'll have to wait till it's really dry, and then we'll just clamp this down a little bit. Okay, you see that the bow? Good. I'm just gonna mush my cardboard here a little bit. These kind of crafts are great because you can like put on a podcast or a show and go to town and be productive, but also be binge watching or binge with listening to something. And once you really get going, you kind of just get in the groove of making them. And if you don't start early, you won't have enough done for your tree. <laughs> I mean, you could sit here and make them all day. Yeah. Maybe we'll make enough that we can list some on the website. for Because I know not everybody, people are like, how do you sell stuff when you show people how to make it? Listen, not everybody wants to make stuff. And I get that. Okay. I hire stuff out all the time. I'm not really great at sewing. The other day I hired Zeb's, uh, well, my sister-in-law too, to make lasagna for a dinner party for me. So I get it. So I may, if we have time, we'll make some extras and we'll list them. I usually like to make some for me and then I work out the kinks and then I can make some for resale.
You could also, we're using the Santa paper, but this would be fun if you wanted to do like, you could take little uh, like floral napkins or whatever and really get shabby chic, do a floral background though and a cameo. You could have fun. So Jamie wants, we'll probably drill a little hole in here and she's gonna do pretty ribbon to hang them. And I think, I feel like this really worked out good too. Yeah, I think we'll do satin and pearls. We actually bought those pearls to do bracelets with, but never got that far. All right. You can show them these two up close. These turned out really great. So these all wind up making two sided. So that way they're finished on the back. So if you guys want to purchase these molds, the resin, the paint, jamierayvintage.com, as well as the decoupage paper. Or if you need decoupage paper, you can check some of your local retailers. We have retailers in Canada. I know we have a stencil retailer in Germany. Have we shipped her um, paper I yet? I'm not sure. Know. I don't know if she's ordered paper. If you go to jrbwholesale.com, there's a retailer map on there. And we have retailers in Australia. I'm trying to think if there's anywhere else outside of the U.S. We're really looking for- For the IOD, you can hit us up. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you know anybody in the U.K., though, we'd love to have a retailer in the U.K. Especially the papers and the- um, the Lots of fun ideas, though. I can't wait to see what you guys start doing. If you do something like this, share it in the uh, Jamie Ray Vintage group. We love to see what you guys come up with that kind of just expands on what we show you here. Usually we try to keep it fairly simple so everyone can do it. And then I love seeing like the embellishments and how crazy you guys get with some of this stuff. Well, to be honest, we keep it simple so I can do it. <laughs> so hit up jamierayvintage.com that helps support our channel and all of our content. Purchases like the church. Um, and if you like it's this be a video, fun place to visit. be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it out to your friends and subscribe to January Vintage for more. DIY. All right, you guys. Thanks for joining us in our kitchen.